Welcome to Mathematics with Ams, Grade 9, Lesson 6 on Rate. Please don't forget to give me a big like and to subscribe. Let's look at Rate. The comparison of two amounts with different units. So remember now, what is ratio? Ratio, you compare the same unit. With rate, we compare different units. Notice that any rate uses the word per to indicate that it compares one quantity to one unit of another quantity. Examples, the cost of an SMS, 150 per SMS. Speed limit, 20 km per hour. Cricket score, 30 runs per hour. Exchange rate. Example, Mary works in a foreign exchange bank at OR Tambo Airport. The various exchange rates are shown on the electronic board. For instance, if you look at the, the currency US dollar, then for one dollar you can buy 8,1 rent and you can sell it for 8,4. Same for British pounds, the euro, and a Botswana pula. So Mary buys $500 from a customer. How much did she pay in rent? So that means I need to multiply with 8,1090 because remember the rent is weaker than the dollar. So they were 4,054 rent and 50 cents. Mary sells rent with 400 pounds to a customer. How much rent did the user receive? So here again we multiply because the rent is weaker than the pound. So it is 400 times the rate which of course is 13,4767, remember she is selling. So it is 5,390 rand and 68 cents. Another way of dealing with rate will be distance, time and speed. Like the speed of a moving object is the rate of its motion or the distance covered by the unit of time. And the formula for speed is distance over time Formula for distance is speed multiplied by time, and formula for time is distance over speed. Example, what is the average speed of a car that travels a distance of 352 kilometers in three hours? So the formula for speed is 30 divided by 3, which gives you 10 kilometers per hour. What distance will a truck cover if it, if it travels 4 hours 20 minutes at an average speed of 75 kilometers per hour. Now take note, we're dealing here with different units, minutes and kilo and hours. So we need to convert the minutes into hours. So four hour, 20 minutes is four and a third hour. Or you can use decimals. So the formula for distance is speed multiplied by time. And distance is, so distance is 75 kilometers times four and a third, which gives you 325 kilometers. Right. In what time will a motorbike travel a distance of 240 km at an average speed of 100 km per hour? So now we want time. So remember time is distance over speed. So it is 2,4 hours, 240 over 100, which is 2,4 hours, which is 2 hours. And if you convert 0,4 to, uh, to hour to minutes, you multiply by 60, because there's 60 minutes in an hour, and you get 2 hours and... 24 minutes. Let's look at two more examples. A car travel at an average speed of 100 km per hour covers a certain distance in 3 hours and 20 minutes. At what constant speed must a car travel to cover the same distance in 2 hours and 40 minutes? Look at the solution. So you get solution is you must convert 3 hours 20 minutes to minutes. So it is 3 times 60 because there's same 60 minutes right in an hour so therefore plus the 20 gives you 200 minutes then convert 2 hours 40 also into minutes so it is 2 times 60 plus 40 which is 160. so the constant speed is distance over time so there you are 200 over 160 times 100 to convert so you get 125 kilometers per hour number two john traveled 10 kilometers per, per taxi by to his home it took 12 minutes to cover the distance. The driver charged John 25 rand. At what rate per kilometer did the taxi driver charge John? The driver stopped for petrol. He paid 390 rand and 50 cents for 45 liter. Calculate the price 
rate of the petrol to get a solution so taxi rate per kilometer is 25 divided by 10 which is therefore 2,5 and the rate of petrol will be 390,5 divided by 55 which gives you 710 cents per liter Right, I hope you liked my little short video on the right. This is Ahmed Suleiman. See you next time. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe.